Oh, here we are. We are live. A, uh, it's one thing to be an entrepreneur, to have a company, to have a system, to have a, to have um, a success that you see online, but it's another thing to actually see it live, to adopt a system and a culture. So what's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from the Marriott here in, uh, in Oak Brook. I'm here with some friends from where? El Paso! El Paso! Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So why don't, you, uh, why don't you just introduce everybody around here real quick uh, sure, sure. Uh, uh, from El Paso, Texas. So Alan Diaz, I'm from El Paso, Texas. Uh, my wife, Alicia Diaz. A uh, little bit of background on myself. I come from technology, uh, computer servers from a school, uh, working for a school district. Also, my wife's uh, an accounting for a title insurance company. And we have Oscar back here. So we have Oscar, hey. Oscar. and Debbie. Husband and wife, or future, that you're getting married yes. in June, right? Yes. June, June, congrats. So, so June. Thank you. Thank you. Early congrats. Yeah, Thank definitely. you. So, Oscar, he's uh, you're going for master's, right? Master's in uh, civil engineering, master's in business administration. And then former former veteran? Or? Former veteran. Ah, uh, uh, combat engineer, right? Yeah, Boom. Combat engineer. Nice. We, go. we got Debbie, so she went in for engineering as well, right? I'm mechanical engineering. So, cool, cool. They're very good at math. Yep. <laughs> Very good systems and numbers. Systems and numbers. Cool. Ellen, who else we got? All right, so we got Andy as well, 19 year old little stud. Uh, we love this guy. Uh, he's going for at UTEP, basically at you know, University of Texas of El Paso. Nice. He is an uh, orientation leader there as well. In campus, yes. I'm right? going for my business. Uh, business management. Business major. management major. Cool. Very good. Most definitely. And then we got uh, Sarai here. I so love Sar this Sarai. <laughs> so Sarai, she. Her parents are actually uh, pastors. They're pa your parents are both, yeah. both okay. are pastors, okay. in El Paso. And then we got uh, Frank here. What up, what up, hey. people? With my PhD, you know, public high school diploma. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, just quick, uh, you know, background by myself. I have um, you know, sales experience, customer service experience. But you know, I started off as a young person, you know, just willing to do something bigger. I worked at the McDonald's, I worked at the call centers, and you know, I just got, I got tired of not having a purpose. So I decided to take the first step, and I, I'm, I'm glad I did. That's good, very good. Yeah, definitely. And then we got Miss Gabby here. Gabby! So, she, so she's actually uh, Alicia, my wife's uh, cousin. Do we look alike? So, hey, cousin, wait, 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 put, him, put him side by side. <laughs> camera one, camera two. <laughs> camera one, camera two. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but I have a uh, background in, in education. And the same thing, you know, like I was, I felt like, you know, like I wanted to do something bigger. I have bigger dreams and bigger goals. So with that being said, you know, it, it takes a bigger person to be able to achieve all these things. So I was like, I, I wasn't cutting, it wasn't cutting for me uh, just being at the, in the school uh, environment. So I decided to uh, come into the entrepreneurship world. Yeah. Good. Very good. Well, we're very excited for having uh, Alan and his team out here too as well. How long have you been with PHP Agency? Uh, less than one year. About. We're, all, we're about to approach the, the, the one-year mark at this point. So he's about to approach a one-year mark. Any financial background, any insurance experience? No insurance, no financial background at all. So at this point, he, uh, he is now about to run officially for the company, right? Okay. A, a, a uh, financial agency yes. becoming a marketing director. We call them marketing directors here at PHP Agency. So does anybody here, any, does anybody here have any financial background? Insurance background? Uh, no. 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 What was anybody here educated about personal finance and insurance and retirement growing up? I know every Mexicanos all the, work very hard, right? Yeah. Right? But did anybody educate you about pensions, insurance, and retirement? No. No. They show you how to get a job, right? Yeah. Student loan debt, right? Yeah. So that's why we're playing offense because there's this narrative in America today that people need to go to school, get a good job, to be secure for their sort of financial life and obtain financial security that way. This group from El Paso earned a trip here. Uh, with with their mentor George Palayo, based out of L.A., and George has been helping you guys build it up, build an since, office since, since the beginning. Yeah. Since the beginning, yeah. so so that's the importance. You know, I just released a vlog this morning about building a business, the importance of system, and number two, culture. So let's talk about that real quick. What was your biggest takeaway? This is a big field trip for them to uh, to come here in Chicago because you guys spent about two days with us. Yes. So what was what was the big takeaways from you guys in terms of system? So system-wise, so we basically, uh, when, when we went into your office, everything is just so systematic. So everything was just organized, uh, making people, people feel good. You know, they go yep. into an environment that they're not so used to. They go to work. You know, they're not excited about going to work every single day. So when we, when we walked into Oak Brook office, uh, we basically felt like the, the energy right away since the, since the beginning, from the start. From, you know, as soon as we walk in, it's like everybody, everybody's excited and stuff because they're excited about life. And so uh, that, that's created through what? Through, through culture. Right, is, is what we basically got out of, out of the Oak Brook office. So yeah. it's all about culture, and that's I think that's something that we have, something unique in El Paso, but we definitely uh, got a lot of value from your, your specific office that we, uh, we're going to take back Good. And, and use it. Thanks, Alan. Anybody else have any uh, key takeaways I'd like to share? 
but the, the biggest thing for me uh, was how uh, everybody's comes together and and as a family like you guys are so like competitive and this and that the day it's a piece of family and there's that culture uh, that environment that you provide it's eight o'clock in the morning then we got there, like at seven o'clock in the morning seven thirty and, and it's Saturday. like music is saying <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation and the music is blasting uh, that's what it's about you know having fun uh, working hard but at the, at, the end, at the end of working hard it's also having fun in the process and I know you're a guest speaker uh, the guest speaker was uh, you had a chance to be with uh, Tim Grover Tim Grover, yep, Tim Grover list, yep. you know and I love his quote that says uh, you don't have to love the process but you have to love the results so much that you go through the process over and over and over again and uh, building from El Paso having a mentor and then having the opportunity to come out here and just meet <coughs> Matt Sheena and uh, other individuals there and in your office so helpful so willing to just teach and give so much I never met anybody like <laughs> in the industry that I was in before and just overall you know in other places that that would just be so willing to just give so much knowledge so much of their time um, without benefiting and nothing to do with them like it doesn't benefit anything of them but it benefits uh, us in El Paso and everybody that came out from um, California too to just learn and grow from that so thank you so much for your time and allowing us to be in your home and we are definitely have a lot of nuggets that we're gonna take back and just start implementing in El Paso and uh, and grow cool. from there and be business partners awesome yes right. business, partners. business partners anybody else Gabby? Yeah, I going back to systems. I know, I guess. Yeah, she's a system. Of course, because uh, she's an engineer. <laughs> yes, we really love systems, and I think in order to be successful, you need to have a plan, right? They always say, like, if you fail to plan, then you're planning for failure. And I think having a system, a foundation, a strong foundation, uh, allows you to even have more fun because then you got everything else out of the way, and you're able to really communicate and really uh, be able to make a connection with the people. At that point, you're not focused on that anymore. So, yeah. Awesome. Very good. Yep. My favorite part is that you're able to work with uh, the top people in the company. They're able to mentor you, uh, George Palayo, yourself, Matt. That's awesome. Like in other companies, like, oh, don't talk to the CEO. That's not allowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the, one of the greatest things in yeah. this company. It's very good. We, we don't uh, care about title, man. We care about results. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. The, the main thing that I got was like your people and yourself. Your guys are very coachable. You guys have that environment where everybody's like, plugs in and is like, hey, you know, what are you doing? What, 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 you, what, what are you doing to succeed? What is it going on? Tell me a little bit more about you. How are you doing mm -hmm. things? You know, coachability, it's like the culture there, really awesome. I love that. I love that you guys <laughs> implement that to your younger people, like going into the business all the way to the people who are already still hit marketing director, honestly. It's awesome. I, I love that. Good. <laughs> I love the coachability. You like that dance move, huh? <laughs> 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 Drop it like it's hot move with Deanne uh, Dian, Dian Marcos. So I just want to uh, well, point out as a college student, you know, you go to your classes, your courses, and you really get to get the uh, analytics and the technicality of a business, right? But here with PHP, you get the opportunity to actually get a hands-on, you know, and that's something you won't be able to get. Either you're a CEO or, you know, you own, you own your own company, but here, I've been here for two weeks and, you know, I'm already here in Chicago, you know, who else can say that? And that's a true honor. Uh, here with Matt, you know, it's a real entrepreneur and you get to see it hands-on. Something other college students can do until four or five years. Is that really what you want to do or can you do it in a week? You know, it's just small stuff like that that makes you really realize how simple life can be and can really benefit your life. And I want to thank Matt for that. Awesome, brother. Right. Cool. Very good. So just uh, some things that I, you know, took away from uh, from being here in Chicago. Uh -huh. It's one thing, you know, going back home and being with Alan and Elisa. And I know Alan always told me, like, once you experience another office, your vision is get, like, wider. And I, it really did happen because, you know, Matt's office is, like, humongous. I was like, where am I? Am I at a hotel? And I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, where are we going? So it's really, really, you just really have to take away from the people that have already been in the business experience. And for me, being young and, you know, I, I really didn't have guidance in other companies as far as you know where I needed to go there's a lot of industries out there you know like technology and like other cryptocurrencies Bitcoin all that Forex and not that I'm knocking on anybody's you know hard work but here you're really able to go in and work out you know work with mentors and they really guide you to where you need to go ahead and be and if you're coachable and say you know you want to learn and you're willing to go ahead and then grow as a person this is like something that you definitely want to look into because me being 21 years old with no background i was working at mcdonald's you know three years ago flipping burgers and nobody nobody wanted me to go ahead and be a manager why because politics you know you want to be with a company that wants to go ahead and you know promote promote you on performance and not politics because your performance i believe it gives you more character than you know what they think of you as a person if you do hard if you're a hard-working person then you deserve you know a hard-working pay and that's something that I took away from PHP, and that's why I'm excited to be here. I love it. Good. Very oh good. Oh, my God. That's, that's awesome. There you go. Hey, there's more to life than just being a landscaper. 
<laughs> think bigger. Think bigger. Bigger, uh, bigger. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm so, so happy to be here. No, truly, like, uh, and uh, just hearing from everything that our people have been taking away, I think that's the greatest part because uh, we're here with, with, with a family, you know, like in, from El Paso. We're bringing out, it's not just the leaders, you know, it's like, including every single person because every single person deserves that opportunity and and when they have that opportunity you can achieve so many great things and 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 it seems easy when when we just say like oh just work hard and stuff like that but no you truly get the 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 real nuggets in, in regards to how to become an entrepreneur like matt teaches how to become a ceo you know that's what we need that's what, what that's what a person truly needs to succeed um and and it's just amazing being able to come out and and, and learn from from a lot of people we're all we're, we were here we we knew we, we were focused we're like okay who are we talking talking to let's go ahead and go out there and 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 talk to, to the big 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 dogs in the company and and you know learn from them and, and also give back you know when you give so much more you get you receive so much more back so that's really important you know uh, just to keep in mind um, but you know the energy with with everybody every every single person gives so much energy and I take that energy and oh my god it fires me up so bad but so I, I'm, I'm excited to go back to El Paso and and you know, just implement every single thing that we learned and I'm excited. I'm excited for what's going to happen in El Paso. You know, I, I want to talk about, you know, the fact that 53% of our company is Latino, right? Yeah. The majority of our company is Latino. Oscar De La Hoya dropped us $10 million in August to grow our company. What does it mean for you guys as entrepreneurs that even though I was cracking on, you know, landscaping, you know, every, I think ethnic background has its own particular business. <laughs> like Filipinos, we're, we're nurses in home health care. Yeah. <laughs> Polish is uh, here in the Chicago land. Polish is a cleaning company. I just came from a Polish business. They have a cleaning company when they have a, a medical uh, background. So. Talk to me about um, what it's like for you guys to say, you know what, if I can take that blue collar, hard working work ethic, but apply it in a white collar world where I'm gonna have to use my physical body, but I can be smart versus, you know, a breaking my back. What would you say to, to the Latino community out there of why this is a, is a wide open market for them to get involved in because there's not enough people doing what we're doing. Yeah. So I think it's just uh, having access to the, like how they were saying, having access to the mentorship in the company itself, and then having a system like we're talking about earlier, Matt, is that that we have a system in place in the comp in the company. So it ha it gives access to different uh, cultures, different uh, uh, different uh, uh, ethnicities, uh -huh. right? To be able to come into this this company and just just plug into the same system itself, so, yeah. so they can succeed and they have the, the access to mentorship of any you know ethnicity, right? Our our company is having um, you know a boom of. You know, a lot of Latinos, a lot of you know different cultures, a lot of different ethnicities coming to our company. Uh, but but usually, when you're in the corporate world, you, you know those ethnicities kind of let get left behind, and our company basically allows that to to be plugged in. It's like dominant. Yeah. Uh, speaking of ethnicity, ladies, what, how does it feel to know that uh, the top ladies of PHP are the number one income earning people in PHP? Right? Not, not, not like my wife, she's uh, half Cuban, uh, black, white. American Indian, and how does it make you feel knowing that the top income earners of PHP agency are women? Latina, Latina at that. It is truly, uh, it's amazing. You know, when, uh, I, I just grew up in California and growing up, um, money, financial struggles was the industry in my household. And all I knew was like, hey, I just need to learn about business, learn about business. Mom and dad taught me hard work, they couldn't teach me business. So being a Latina, being a Mexican, um, first generation born in the United States, uh, and going back home, and it took for me to be in this industry to go back home and teach mom and dad about investments, about money, about saving. It took me to go back home because of because of me being in this industry. I'm able to go back home and teach mom and dad. Now my mom and dad have retirement accounts. Bam. Now they have life insurance. Now they have things like this. They didn't have it before. They didn't have it before. They never even considered looking wow. into that because it was a, a living paycheck to paycheck kind of deal, you know, just surviving to, just to make ends meet. And now being here and then running a business, especially with family. Yeah. Um, Gabby and I, we reconnected again. Uh, grew up together. Um, we, we separate through time. You know, life happens. And then because of this business, I invite sure. her over. Come back together. She comes over to the office. Uh, not even an office, actually. We didn't even have an office yet. In How office. big is your office, by the way? Uh, 700 square 700 feet. 700 square foot office. <laughs> hey, humble beginnings. We have the same uh, same office structure, but you guys are blowing up. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we could reconnect from there. Now, I've never been so much connected to to Gabby, you know, as being cousins, then if it wasn't for this business, you know, it connects you, it builds family, and because of this, I have other people that I consider like family because of this. Um, but, you know, met, we're in this office, in our office, we're like Latinas, females, like we're always big on shoes, and it's about buying your own nice things, you know, and showing up, things like that. Being independent women and also being, uh, uh, what's it called, Latinas, Mexicanas, al 100%, entonces, este, para arriba, 
because all, all the independent women uh, that were just going out there were just going to dominate the industry and teach other female women like, hey, it's, it's about being independent, it's about teaching other people, but who can else we, can we bring with us and, and just project that everywhere out there in El Paso. Yeah, you, you got to be going in that Spanish thing. Say, <laughs> hey, say something in Spanish for the Spanish speakers out there. Who wants to take a stab at it? En español, por favor. Sí, claro. Para todos, para todo público mexicano o hispano, verdad, que sabe español, bueno, les unos saludos a todos, a todos, verdad. Pero lo más importante es que hablando de la cultura y de la cultura latina, verdad, y la cultura siendo este mujer, verdad, es muy, muy, muy importante realmente este implementar, porque ahorita lo que estamos haciendo estamos interrumpiendo todo lo que viene siendo la industria financiera, ¿por qué? Porque nadie se ha imaginado lo que está, o sea, lo que está pasando ahora y lo que va, lo que va a suceder es algo increíble. Entonces, sabiendo lo que va a suceder en el futuro y cómo estamos implementando todo en, en el sistema, ya todo va a cambiar. Es mucho más cool, es mucho más, este, emocionante y la gente está subiendo, muchos empresarios, verdad. Pero siendo, siendo mexicana y siendo, este, eh, mujer también, verdad. Es muy importante porque también eso estamos interrumpiendo, ¿verdad? Ya no solamente es una industria de, de hombres, es más bien de mujeres y la mujer puede emprender muchísimas cosas en la vida que va a sobresalir más adelante y es para el, para el bien de uno mismo, ¿verdad? Crecer como, como, como nosotros mismos, pero también implementarlo para ser, para ser dueña de tu vida, para ser dueña y para seguir adelante e implementarlo para el resto de tu familia. Entonces es súper importante y muy, muy emocionada aquí para representar a todas las mujeres, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes también también lo pueden hacer, así que espero verlos a todos con PHP o haciendo lo que ustedes quieran hacer, pero es muy, muy, muy importante que sobresalgan y que tengan la oportunidad de vivir sus sueños. Eso. Claro que sí. Oh no, es el uh, quiero dos tacos de, uh, uh, de, de pastor con piña, por favor. I'm hungry now. Who wants some tacos? So uh, I'll, I'll let you guys wrap it up. So, what's one thing you would encourage somebody that's watching this right now in El Paso, in Texas, or wherever they're, where they're watching this from? Well, how would you encourage them with their personal finances and encourage them with financial control in America today with the opportunity they have here with PHP? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so with our company, we basically get to uh, learn more about our personal finances to, you know, hey, learn about, you know, different accounts and stuff that, you know, we basically can help with people through insurance, uh, whether it be the other different index accounts and stuff. So uh, just seek out for the, for the opportunity to be able to get uh, that help, right? Uh, whether it be starting off with, you know, with your own increasing your income with, with an opportunity in business or whether it be uh, just, just learn about more your personal finances through, through like a, you know, an agency with us in El Paso, right? Whether it be in El Paso, whether you're here like in, in, in Chicago, seek out the, you know, the mentorship or, or seek out for help instead of just like, hey, you know what? I'm just living in the now and the now and the now every single time uh, for the rest of your life. You know, seek out for help for your future, right? It's not just, it's not just in the now now, but whatever you do now is what's going to help you for the future. So one hour of your, out of your day or 30 minutes of, you know, seeking for help and advice, that can help you for the rest of your life and change your life and be, being able to retire maybe for uh, to have the life that you ever wanted to have. So uh, definitely seek out for help. Uh, we're in El Paso, of course. Uh, so anybody in the El Paso area. Where are you at? Where are you at? What's your address? It's uh, 2211 East Missouri Avenue. It is El Paso, Texas, 79903, Suite 229. That's it, man. You guys are expanding here for going forward, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Get them now before they expand and blow up. You could be part of it. So listen, I'm, I'm very excited to have you guys. It was an honor for you guys to visit us from El Paso. <laughs> Here in Oak Brook, the home of the Money Smart Movement team of PHP Agency. I'm looking for you guys going out there and dominating, continuing to grow from El Paso and uh, reaching a lot of people out there. And, and listen, what's interesting about this whole, this, this whole experience is none of these guys and gals had any financial background. Engineer, military, technology, T accounting, uh, student, right, Gabby? Education. Edu education. But because of our system and our culture, they are more aware of th something that affects all of us, which is financial security and financial independence. We work really, really hard. It's about time now for our money to work really, really hard for us too as well. You have a shot, you can do it. You just gotta be pl uh, plugged into the right system, right culture, the right people, like them in El Paso, Texas. So if you're in El Paso, Texas, reach out to them. Uh, George Palayo, if you're watching this in a replay, brother, thank you for coming out here. You have about 50 guys come out here from uh, L.A. too as well. El Paso had Don Quinine come from Dayton, Ohio. Uh, it was just a great unity. Uh, that's really their team's name. It's a great unity 
of uh, people here from, uh, yeah, there it is, Unity. <laughs> uh, Unity. Team Unity to come out here in Chicago where we can uh, grow together, learn together, compete together, and uh, dominate our personal finances uh, for the foreseeable future to make sure we have control and peace of mind in our hands, not somebody else's. So with that being said, thanks for coming out. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And if you're watching this, make sure you like our page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit notifications and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching this, make sure you comment and share this video to spread the message of financial hope and confidence with entrepreneurship and understand the movement of PHP agency and helping people do more, have more, and be more. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be mighty smart today.